Hello coaches and HWCA community. Welcome to our next class. I'm Coach Britt, founder of the Holistic Wellness Coaching Academy, where we train and certify health coaches in holistic gut health and mindset strategy coaching. Today's class is all about the sweet spot for gut health and why right now is that spot. Um, this is probably my favorite class that I've done so far because it really kind of brings together the, the culmination of gut health for for wellness and for prevention and for all the, the reasons that we, we've dug into it and why we want to help people and, and all that stuff. And it also gets to bring in why it's the prime time to utilize this in every business. So it's a win-win for all right now. It's a, it is absolutely the sweet spot for gut health. And so that is what we're going to chat about today. Uh, so thanks for joining. And I hope that you found this on, on the YouTube channel at Gut Health School. If you haven't followed us yet, please do. We do these once a week so you can join our, our staff and get access to our closed groups and um, initial enrollments and all that kind of stuff. And if you're not a coach with us, well, then you can follow this information and utilize it in your business and in anything that you're doing. So um, first, we're going to talk about the well-being level. So when we say this is the sweet spot for gut health, like this is the prime time. Um, just as far as, as well-being goes, as far as health and wellness and, and helping people and helping ourselves, this is a huge, huge opportunity right now to take advantage of. So, so currently, there's a massive gap in care. 40% of Americans have some form of chronic disease. So chronic disease is something that is afflicting them oh, you know, throughout time, throughout day after day after day, something that usually is, is causing them to be on some kind of prescription medication on a consistent basis. It's really, it's what degrades our quality of life. You know, we latch on to this whole, how long we live in our, our lifespan anymore, but but if the quality of life is low, then, then are we really able to live to our fullest? And the problem right now is that with 40% of Americans, you guys, that's like, that's a lot of people. That's almost half the population, and that's just what's cited. That's just what's documented. 40% has some form of chronic disease, and over half of that, those people with chronic disease have multiple forms of them, likely in the form of um, autoimmune disease. And a lot of chronic disease is believed to be very um, treatable and related to diet and lifestyle things. And so the average person, a lot of people don't understand just how much power we have over that or how much of an epidemic it is growing to be. And we don't know what it feels like to feel good unless we feel good. So we don't really know how bad a lot of us feel until we start to feel good. So that gap in care right now, it happens because a lot of these cases of chronic disease are are labeled as such, but they're really going un undiagnosed. And a lot of the people that suffer with them have multiple forms. We're seeing that once someone has, uh, or is prone to like an autoimmune condition, which is basically when the immune system turns on itself, that they then, it leads way for multiple autoimmune conditions. So it's like, it'll start with one and then they'll end up usually having another one and then another one. And, and so it, it seems to be more of a condition of the body, a reaction, if you would, by our immune system than necessarily a genetically predisposed disease. Now you will see this stuff come down in families because we, you know, we have genetic markers that we're more susceptible to, but we're really watering those seeds with our lifestyle and, and things like that. So why this is such an opportune time in gut health is because we see so much of the, the immune system now is rooted in the microbiome and so the microbiota play a huge role in the entire immune system and because of we can look at these conditions and these autoimmune conditions you know which is what it's the immune system attacking its own tissues it's when our body's immune system turns on us and starts attacking pieces of our body you know or, or areas and, and different things and so it it, it sheds a lot of light on just how much power we have by focusing on gut health, how much we can actually do for these massive numbers of people that have chronic illnesses. And I can't tell you just on a personal level how many people I talk to, even though I'm not a doctor and I don't try and cross that line, but I end up seeing and working with and talking to a ton of people who have ongoing health problems. We know our bodies. We know when something doesn't feel right. We may not know how good we can feel because we haven't felt really great in a long time or maybe ever, um, but we know when something feels really off. And these poor individuals are going in for checkups and appointments and they're getting, you know, 
modern medicine right now, you know, they run the protocols, they, they do certain tests and, and lab work and et cetera. And then if they don't see it in those results, they send them away as opposed to functionally looking at the body and saying, okay, these are your symptoms. These are what has changed. You know, where's your levels and things changed. You know, women are a prime example of that with, with thyroid and um, adrenal issues anymore, even some men. So it's a really big deal. So now is just such a great time. They, they say that modern medicine is about 17 years behind current science so we don't really have time with 40% of our population already suffering from chronic disease we don't really have time to wait for certain case studies and things to catch up and make it into the medical world and this goes that's why this is a good opportunity not just for coaches and individuals um, but also for practitioners and people in the health arena because if you can understand the gut then you can understand the complexity of the of the function of the human and body you can gain insight as to what can actually be done to help people or maybe what is going on to a new degree within their body what's existing what kind of what is actually happening you can suggest different things you can point them in a different direction um, you know so so it's really the time to bring that into our knowledge so even if it's not common practice yet and where you are now's the time for you and for us as individuals to really latch onto that and take advantage of this point right now where enough people are open-minded and needing help, but it's not it's not overly known yet and they're not getting the help that they need in most circumstances. So perfect time, again, sweet spot for it. So um, on a business level, you guys, on an income level, on it, you know, whether you're a practitioner, whether you're a coach, whether you're in some kind of wellness business, any 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 area of that, and we work with all kinds of people, right? I train coaches, I train I train nurse practitioners, and 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 people in the mental health, and the psychologists, and all that kind of stuff. It's so great to see this finally making its way into these these areas because people are starting to understand that it is the this this kind of foundational piece of, of all of these different areas of wellness and, and well-being and, and you know components of, of whole health. So um, it's really a great time, but just on a opportunity level, it is really hard. Right now, this is the sweet spot in, in business and and stuff too. If you bring, if you are working in an area of gut health, if you are kind of on the cusp of this, this newer uh, piece of information, because it is in, it is really in an area right now that's not, it's not new anymore, which is good. When you have to pioneer something completely new all by yourself, you deal with two things. One, you may benefit a little because you're the first person to ever bring it up, but two, it can work against you a lot because people are so unfamiliar. You have to spend so much time teaching them what it is that you know to such a degree that sometimes that works against you. And when it's overly known, then it, it can become a very oversaturated place to be. So to be the last one to jump on the bandwagon isn't good either because everybody already knows about it and there's people who have probably already established their footing in whatever arena at this point in time. So just in a practical business level, um, right there in the middle is the best place to be and that is right where we are right now. So enough people know, they're starting to hear the buzzword gut health, microbiome, leaky gut, um, you know, all these coaching starting to come about, you know, so they're familiar. They might know a bit. They Maybe they're reading. Maybe they're reading. There's more books and pub things publicized now about it. Um, more doctors and, and very credible resources coming out now and, and giving more information and validating this piece, this piece of knowledge. So people are starting to give it, it has credibility more so now than it did even four years ago. It has more weight, it's got more attention, it's more familiar. However, it is not yet oversaturated. It is something that when you can bring this into your services or you can utilize this, you know, for your own health, you will be able to help a lot of people. Um, if you're a coach, if you're in the wellness arena, if you're a practitioner, if you're in mental health, if you're in skincare, and the beauty industry, you know, we train a ton of estheticians because of this stuff. Um, but now is really the time because you don't have massive competition working against you, but yet you're not the first pioneer. So again, back to the sweet spot, like now is, is such an opportune time to do that. And what's cool 
as I know it may sound a little weird to talk about the opportunities of business and, and you know, capitalizing on this time, but at the same time, if you're a practitioner or an individual, you're thinking about coaching, you are wanting to find a coach or hook up with a coach or just get connected to our multiple resources. We have closed groups, we have uh, our Instagram following and our Facebook, and you, you can connect with us through any of those avenues, you guys, but you can find everything at hwcacoach.com or guthealthschool.com. You can message us directly and we will give you um, any resources to any of these things on, on utilizing gut health, on getting certified as a coach for the first time, on bringing it into a business as a practitioner, as a you know wellness professional, anything. Um, group certification, bring it into your, your group business. It's, it's really the time to do that. So um, get connected. Thank you for following our community and we will see you next week.